Eagles, they live above the ground. Unlike chickens that live in the barn. Unlike those little birds that can either speak gospel verses or curse words in your house. They get trained. Parrots, eagles, they live and they have their residence very high in the sky. Where most of the predators cannot arrive and cannot climb to. Where your physical body lives is your address. That's where your physical body lives. But your mind lives in the other address. Your attitude is the address of your mind. Your attitude is the address of your mind. You can physically live in the richest neighborhood in Trace Cities and mentally live in a ghetto. You can physically live in 99301 physically but mentally be homeless because the thoughts that constantly come out of you are shame guilt depression discouragement anxiety you're working at the prestigious job except anxiety comes in mentally the attitude you have those moments where you kind of fly and you have those good days somebody gives you a free coffee somebody gives you a little promotion gives you a nice words you know your spouse or your children or your parents give you a little moment of attention and you go out and you fly so good but then when the day is over you go back to your home your attitude place and as a home for the body is your address the home for the mind is your attitude your attitude and many times for us what happens is that we go through things in life and we become hurt we go through things in life and we become devastated inside or we pick up certain demons we become certain depression certain anxiety and it becomes our home we come to church we feel good for two hours and we go back home to an attitude of defeat attitude of rebellion attitude of discouragement attitude of depression attitude of i am not good my life has no point everybody's advancing nobody loves me nobody pays attention to me and it's your nest it's called a barn life you can't be an eagle and live in the barn my mission today is to burn your barn burn the barn mental address has to be burned if it's not high I can't fly high if I live low I can't reach high if at my low points I always come back to a low place in the barn I must as a person and you have to be the first place you must change is not the zip code for your house it's the zip code for your mind it's your attitude your attitude has to be a winning attitude that's why word attitude and altitude sound the same and they're actually about the same in your spiritual life the altitude in life is actually your attitude in life you can't have a positive attitude and live a negative life for very long but you also cannot have a positive life and have a negative attitude for very long God wants to change your address today last year right at this moment two more hours a little bit before i moved from richland to pasco it took a while to move it we transitioned i had to change my address um, the mail still goes to richland sometimes there was a transition that i had to take i live so much closer to church now i can walk to church and i love living in pasco not for the pasco sake but because it's closer to church it's closer to my wife's work when i went to my brother's house for lunch a few sundays ago i felt like i went to seattle i drove to richland i was like when am i gonna get to that richland it's 15 minutes and I told him I'm not coming again this is too hard too long because I'm used to 25 seconds to 30 seconds distance because I live closer as I was meditating on that before the service I saw the picture of how you can live close mentally to God where mentally you make an address for your attitude I am a victor not a victim you're closer to God when you make a decision I am not a sick person trying to get healthy I'm a healthy person fighting sickness you get 20 seconds between you and God 
compared to three hours compared to 15 minutes when you make a decision I am not broke poor always struggling but I am a blessed person because I have an El Shaddai I have a Jehovah Rapha I have a Jehovah Ra I have a God who provides for me not my boss he is the resource my God is the source but I'm currently struggling but my God will meet all of my needs according to my riches and your glory that is your mental address with that mental address you're closer to God God wants us to change not where we fly where we live when all the flying is done where do you rest when the service is done the hype is down the speaker is no longer with the microphone pastor doesn't challenge music doesn't inspire you go back home on the pillow and you turn on your lamp and you smell the carpet and everything you come into your house you pick up the bills where does your mind find its rest is it in the barn or on the rocks because you're an eagle you're not a chicken you're not a you're not a chicken you may say my friends are depressed well you're not your friends the creator of universe is your dad royal nature a majestic a powerful fearless majestic nature lives inside of you you say you don't know my mama well i'm telling you about your daddy you say well you don't know what i grew up in well i'm telling you where you should be living in now don't live in a rich neighborhood but your mind being in the ghetto graduate move your mind pack your bags burn the barn and come to a place where saying you know what i may be broke in my pocket but i'm not broke in my mind i may be sick in my body but i'm not sick in my heart i may feel discouraged in my emotions but listen i am not discouraged in my mind i am seated in the heavenly places with christ jesus i will think on high things where jesus dwells and jesus is not in the valley valley is what i go through it's not what i camp and that is about you and that is about me can somebody say amen